What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. Good, good morning. Happy Sunday. It's January twenty eighth. Um, some decent weather has returned, and Nancy Pelosi is making outrageous comments again. <laughs> Pelosi, Trump's immigration proposal is a part of a campaign to make America white again. <laughs> messing up here. <laughs> Sorry. percent of the current legal immigration will be cut back. That many people will be sent out of the country. For, for the moment at least. Anyway, I was going to play a clip, but it's screwing up. <laughs> um, let's just read what she said. House Minority Leader. I always like that House Minority Leader. You the House Negro in charge. <laughs> Slam President Trump's dem immigration framework, calling it a campaign to make America white again. <laughs> Trump's proposal would offer a citizenship for 1.8 million, so called dreamers, and call for 25 billion in funding for a border wall and security. You know what? It's not, there's not 1.8 million dreamers. They're giving. They're offering for the dreamers and I think including 1.8 million. So 1.8 million, part of that is the dreamers. I think that's how it goes. The administrator's anti-immigrant framework is an act of cowardice, staggering cowardice, which attempts to hold the dreamers hostage to a hateful anti-immigration scheme. The 50% cut to legal immigration, the framework, and recent announcements to end the temporary protected status for Central Americans and Haitians are both part of the same cruel agenda. They are part of the Trump's administration's unmistakable campaign to make America white again. You know, um, <laughs> she had mentioned Hades, Haitians to get that black element in there because you got to get black folks in, uh, on the team. You know, um, the thing I'll say about that, especially Haiti, you know, let's let's make Haiti great again. You know what I mean? Not not bring Haitians here. You know what I mean? That's I don't, that's what I don't get, man. I mean, well, I do get why. Um, part of the reason some people say they're trying to remake the demographics in the United States. That's probably true. Um, they're trying to. Uh, you're not going to ethnically write white right off uh, white people, but uh, I think they're trying to make uh, some um, less populous as the as, as the others. You know, what I mean, almost like you already, you've already seen this happen. You've seen it in Brazil. Um, that's what I think the powers that be are trying to do. You know, what I mean, um, you'll have um, then you'll eventually grow. Um, you know. The really haves and the half nots, there will be a big difference between the haves and the half nots. So, yeah, you know what I mean? Um, my, my thing is this, this now, my thinking or my stance is like, man, why would I import <laughs> people to compete with on a wage thing? Now, there's one thing to import people because you need people for certain jobs. Like a lot of people, like in uh, Germany, they were saying the, 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 when these this generation gets elderly, there won't be anybody to care for them and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it's true, but you know, I mean, if you have people in your country, you just get those people to reproduce, man. Like, it's, it's simple. You know what I mean? Um, now, some of them jobs would be at a premium, start to become a premium, premium that people want to work in. Then, then people would work in them. You know, I mean, it would handle itself. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you don't wouldn't have enough people to do it. The 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 need for that would increase the uh, the the uh, you can get more uh, jobs for them. You'd be like, hey man, we need such and such elderly summers, and we need to see such and such to care for them. Nobody's coming. We'll make it fifty thousand. Nobody's coming. Make it sixty thousand. Nobody's coming. Make it seventy thousand. People start to creep in. You know what I mean? So the market's going to dictate that. You know, it's it's 
You know, they're just trying to... This is some human engineering and shit like that, man. You know, if they're worried about the countries, you like I said, <laughs> make Haiti great again. You, you, you screw Haiti up every chance you get. You know what I mean? You let Hillary Plantation screw screw Haiti up. You should put her put her in jail for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on, man, stop, just stop. I'm not trying to hear this, Nancy. Just uh, help the people that are already here. Instead of, <laughs> well, I guess they're there. Some of them are here, but the immigration policy, yeah, that can change. Man, you don't cut it down. We don't need it. We don't need it. Peace.